Alan. All these in your mama's mouth. Why are people trying to violate? Because they're jealous. The more we respond in a negative manner, it shows jealousy, it shows insecurity within us. But have you asked yourself prior to this time that uh, Pretty Boy Fredo mentioned the name of Allah, let me ask you this question right now. When was the last time he even said the name or the word Allah? Prior to this video, when was the last time? What if this was the first time he's ever said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name? Wallahi, you take it for granted. This is probably the first time Pretty Boy Fredo ever used the word Allah in his life. Now. First, can we just acknowledge how special that is? Can we just acknowledge that why don't we all just invite him to Islam? Let me ask you, pretty boy Fredo, you watching this? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe my people shared it with you. Maybe they haven't, but pretty boy Fredo, do you believe Jesus is God or do you believe he was someone sent by God? Because if you're someone who believes he was sent by God, well, that means that you're on the same line with the stance that the Muslims believe in. Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video. Right now, currently here in Boston, Boston, Massachusetts. We out here. You see that? See that? No, because you got the bokeh, you got the you got the lens burst. You don't see that at all. We out here right now. Subhanallah, got some important important news for you guys. Ooh, you hear it? You see the people? You see the theme? You know what it is? Oh, you seen the title? Mm, SQ, what you gonna talk about, huh? SQ, what you gonna give me that's new? Who are you going to tell, huh? You're going to tell me something different that another Muslim YouTuber has told me about Pretty Boy Fredo? No. Probably better. Probably something different. Probably the same thing. I thought that reminders benefit the believers. That's not my check. That's not my check. Reminders benefit the believers. So how many times we got to, like, say it? And guess what? If this message is repeated over and over again, instead of being like, yo, why are these dudes, like, saying the same thing? Why don't you ask yourself, why is Allah allowing me to hear the same message over and over again? Anyways, guys, let's get into this video right now. You've heard it. It's not new. It's not new. SQ, you late. But I wanted to gather my thoughts on this before I actually shared uh, any of my ideas on the, on the matter itself. Too. First and foremost, you guys got to understand something, bro. That Americans are different. You understand? Like, I'm, First of all, Americans are extremely ignorant when it comes to uh, you know, religion, knowing other religions. It's not just Islam other religions overall. It's not taught in our schools. It's not like the UK. See, in the UK, in your school curriculum, you have something that teaches you about other faiths and cultures. That's a beautiful thing. In America, we don't have anything like that at all. That's why when you watch some of my social experiments over here, you see, you know, I have to cut out all the funny stuff that people say. People say some ridiculous funny stuff, but I got to cut it out sometimes because it's inappropriate. You understand? So Americans by nature are ignorant when it comes to other faiths, in particular Islam. So yeah, you hearing him, pretty boy Fredo, and you heard the clip. I may or may not decide to play it again, depending on post or how I feel. Allah, all these n**ks in your mama's mouth, man. Allah, what, b What? This thing might be a terrorist. Hold on, man. Allah, hold, hold on, man. Allah, what? But as of right now, I need you to know something right now. Like, look, this dude... He speaks how he speaks, right? He speaks like he's from New York, but I did some little little Google magic on this dude. Uh, he's from Florida, apparently, and, and this dude is, uh, is adopted. Can you believe that? He has adopted father. He has adopted parents, right? So now, not only is this person at loss, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, you know, well, us in the insana lefi are all of human beings. Why do I make it in the public? Because these dudes is lost. I'm here. You're here. We're here. We're all dies, guys. It's not. It's not because I have a YouTube channel that that makes me a die or more above you or more 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 higher than anyone. Absolutely not. It's all a part of encouraging you guys to get out there and do some stuff. Who's gonna stop me? I'm making a video right now. Who's gonna stop me? People are watching. People are like, what this guy on? Huh? Is he a Real Madrid fan? That's key on my unsubscribing right now. I wish you understood that I don't even watch soccer, football, call it what you want. I don't even know a player from Real Madrid. You know what I'm a fan of? I'm a fan of the drip. I'm a fan of the drip. I got some purple in this. I got some purple in here, so I'm rocking them. Does it match? Maybe. Or maybe not. I could care less. But I care about the drip. I don't really care about the teams and all that sort of stuff. Guys, they don't pay me. They don't pay me to wear this stuff. Who cares? Anyways. Let me ask you a question. Why are you upset? Are you upset because you know, you're angry or you're hurt? Why? Why? Why are you hurt? Oh, because he disrespected Allah. 
oh, these nuts, blah, blah, blah. You have to understand that this is how certain people talk. This is how his generation speaks. So you got to level up with them. You understand? You got to speak to them at the same level. And you have to understand when people are using the N word, they're using it as like a noun. You understand? Like, People use it in a regular terminology. They're not trying to racially slur anyone. Now, depending on each culture, I know in New York, I don't know about Boston over here, but in New York, it's very, very common for people to use the N-word all the time. But the thing is that most people are using it as nouns. Let me give you an example. I'm a teacher, you know, might as well give you an example. Okay, here's the example right now. My cats are at home. And I just found out when I got home after my trip from Boston that these didn't eat their food. Now you see, the way I use it shows it as a noun, but I personally don't use it in my vernacular. Now, I'm not gonna talk to you about how Pretty Boy Fredo does not have a good vocabulary and he should change up you know, his vernacular a little bit. That's not what this video is about. But why are you hurt? Why? Why are you hurt? You think that Allah's shine and glory has been down? Allah is Al-Majid. Look it up, look at what it means. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Jaleel. Look what it means. Find out what it means. Don't think for a second right now that, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has so many other names. You're not using Allah's names to your advantage. That's the problem. That's the problem. No matter how many people try to violate Allah, His deen, the Messenger, Sallallahu they can't get violated. This religion is perfect. Why are people trying to violate? Because they're jealous. The more we respond in a negative manner, it shows jealousy, it shows insecurity within us. You understand? We have nothing to be insecure about, yet we are made to feel insecure. So what do we do? Fight back, want to burn cars and doing some dumb stuff. I had a crazy conversation with this French lady today, crazy in the elevator. You would never even known. French, and I asked her, I said, yo, do you guys like, like a racist towards Muslims over there? I'm hearing you are banning the hijab. This is your chance to tell me. And I had like maybe a 30 minute conversation with her about everything. And I'm gonna share that with you with a separate video, inshallah. This video is about apparently pretty boy Fredo insulting Islam, did he? Or did he just expose how ignorant he was? Now, just because obviously, uh, you know, people uh, can't insult Allah or his religion or his deen, you know, or, or the messenger sallallahu and, you know, nothing can bring their shine. That doesn't mean that we allow people to do it. You understand? Like, we got to be firm too. And we got to let people know that you can't play around like that. But have you asked yourself prior to this time that uh, pretty boy Fredo mentioned the name of Allah? Let me ask you this question right now. When was the last time he even said the name or the word Allah? Prior to this video, when was the last time? What if this was the first time he's ever said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name? Wallahi, you take it for granted. I could go on all day. Christmas tree. Primark's on my right. Y'all can't see this. That's the problem. We're so tunnel visioned. You can only see what's happening here. You don't know what's happening. There could be a crowd of people watching me right there. There's a Primark to my right though. There's a Macy's on my left. I'm here. Do you understand? Like we're just so blessed and fortunate to understand who Allah is, have Tawheed in our heart, understand. And we're just so fortunate. But what about these people? This is probably the first time Pretty Boy Fredo ever used the word Allah in his life. Now, first, can we just acknowledge how special that is? Can we just acknowledge that why don't we all just invite him to Islam? You are Da'is. You think it's my job? You think it's some famous YouTuber or some popular YouTuber or a YouTuber's job or an influencer's job or someone who's at the same level as him? Absolutely not. Any one of you guys can invite him to Islam and that's what we want to do. I want to invite Pretty Boy Fredo to Islam. Why? I had a great conversation. This is going to be a separate video that you're going to see about uh, my Uber driver realizing that he's a Muslim. And this brings me to the point that people don't know that they're Muslim. There's a lot, a lot of people who accept Islam. Reverts out there, shout out to you and tell me in the comment section below if this is true or false. When you find out about Islam, you realize that, yo, this isn't new. This is something I always believed in. With my boy Jordan, watch this video right here. Uh, with my boy Jordan, he was just like, yo, I already believe in that. You understand? There's, there's, cer there's certain things that are in the human DNA, in our fitrah. There's certain things within us, innate, that call us to worshiping Allah alone. And Islam, the Tawheed, the understanding of Allah, the beauty of it allows people to shake up all the debris and garbage that's covering their heart and see a perspective that they're like, whoa, this makes sense. What I was raised upon doesn't make sense.
Let me ask you, pretty boy Fredo. You watching this? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe my people shared it with you. Maybe they haven't, but pretty boy Fredo, do you believe Jesus is God or do you believe he was someone sent by God? Because if you're someone who believes he was sent by God, well, that means that you're on the same line with the stance that the Muslims believe in when it comes to Jesus Christ. Peace and blessings be upon him. But we don't even call him Jesus because that's not even his real name. His real name is Isa. And we say, alayhi salam, meaning may peace and blessings be upon him. Well, if you believe that Jesus is a messenger of God, someone sent by God, just like uh, Moses, Abraham, Jonah, Jacob, and all the other messengers of God, including the last and final messenger, Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, the one who we learned all this information from, who was a brother of Jesus Christ, peace and blessings be upon him, a brother of Moses, and some of your haters out there, you fake Islamophobes, Christian people, and real Christians wouldn't do this. A real Christian wouldn't come over here and start dogging Islam and saying nasty things in the comment section. You guys are in a cult and you don't even see it. It's a blind spot. I don't expect you to see it right now either. So guess what happens? You feel, you, you, you agree that, look, Jesus is someone that God sent to teach people how to worship God. I believe he was sent by God. I don't believe that he is God. Well, that makes you half Muslim already. What's the other half, SQ? Well, do you believe that only God is worthy of worship? Are you nodding your head right now, sir? Well, that means that you are a Muslim, my friend. Congratulations, you have just unlocked the entire key to paradise. Now, anyone could just claim these things that they believe that Allah, God, the worship one, is the only one worthy of worship. They could say that, huh? Anyone could say that. I believe that Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, is the final messenger of God. People could say that. But it's about believing in that, acknowledging that, learning more about this. How? Through the ultimate source of all knowledge, which is the Holy Qur'an. Mm. But they don't want people to know about it. They want you to think that it's a terrorist book. It's some book, and just like the French lady was saying, some oppressive thing. Believe me, wait until I drop that conversation. That's what they want you to think so that you don't seek the truth. You think that all oh, religions are made up. Everything is made up. Yeah, there has been a lot of man influence, human influence on the current state that we're in right now, you know? And Islam is included, by the way, in how things are treated culturally within our faith. But we have an advantage over every other faith. And that advantage is, sir, that we have the original texts, the original sources to our information. You understand? We have the Qur'an in say, intact with how it was revealed over 1400 years ago. We have the narrations of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, which has been witnessed and attested by hundreds of thousands of people. Thousands of people. You be, it's there. This scientific proof and evidence to how his, his sayings have been cultivated and, 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 and just uh, you know, arranged for us. This is the advantage that Islam has. This is what Islam has to bring. And any Christian out there, you should be using Islam as a resource. When you are having a debate between you and another Christian or you with another denomination Christian, even though you should not have any conversations or debates with anyone, because guess what? The, the war against, it's not a war against Islam. It's, it's a war against Allah. It's a war against uh, Tawheed, the oneness of Allah. We're all in the same, we're all in the same boat, guys. We're all being targeted. And what I found out from friends, if it, if it is true indeed, that means that, guess what? I asked the question, well, would a, a Sikh have to take off his turban in school? If you're making a Muslim woman take off her hijab in school? They said, yes. I said, if this is true, ma'am, then I fight for the rights of the Sikhs as well. I fight for my Sikh brothers and sisters' rights too. If in France they make you take off your turbans, if this is true, someone confirmed this for me in schools. The same way they make the Muslim girls take off their hijabs in schools. If they make the, the, the boys or even the girls who have the thing in the front take it off for school, just know that that's wrong. And my, I, your brother SQ fights for your rights too. I'm going to fight for it too. I'm going to fight for it too. I am. I'm going to do that. So here's the message of Islam. It's really, really simple. Believe in no one but Allah. Nothing, no money, not yourself. You only believe in the one, Allah. You believe that the messenger Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, is the final messenger of Allah. You're a Muslim. If this is what you believe, if you believe this, then you're a Muslim. Invite him to Islam. You never know. You never know. 
Umar bin Khattab walked out of his house ready to kill the messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Today he is buried next to him. You don't know people. You don't know how their end will be. But some of you are still going to try to get in the comments. Ha ha ha. Brother, wait until he gets in his grave. Oh brother, wait until he meets Allah. Oh brother, wait until he sees the head fire. Why do you want someone to see this? Why do you get excited to find out that a person's going to go to hell? <laughs> Why? Shouldn't that make you sad because it makes you and I look like failures for not delivering the message? It's all about perspective. It's all about perspective. This is our job. This is our duty to stand and proclaim there's nothing worthy of worship except Allah. And indeed, the Messenger Muhammad is his last and final messenger. I love you all for the sake of Allah. This has been your boy SQ coming from Boston. I'm going to give you my story about my Uber driver tomorrow, inshallah. I'm going to record it after Fajr. I'm going to come out here. And do some some more videos, some more tings. You know, I love you all for the sake of Allah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoy these outside videos. Some of you are like, why you, why you walk, SQ? Because I do. I like it. I, I, I'm me and I do me. That's me. That's what, what I do. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you have benefited from this. A lot of people are staring at me. It's cool. You can stare. I'd stare at me too. I don't blame you. Love you all for the sake of Allah. Uh, check out some of the other videos right over here. Uh, or don't. That's a suggestion too. Don't don't check it. That should be a suggestion. Don't watch any more of my videos. Cancel me. Go ahead. Cancel me. Go ahead. Enjoy yourselves. Have fun. Have fun canceling me. I got to get out of here though because it is kind of break. My hands are, are tight frozen and uh, my nose is starting to run. Let's see if you can see it. No, oh, maybe it's out of focus, but love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out.